a desperate search for NFL players lost at sea, and the heartbreaking story of an athlete who gave his own life to rescue a drowning boy. These pro athletes tragically passed away too soon. Joe Delaney made a name for himself in the early 1980s as an NFL running back for the Kansas City Chiefs. He previously set records in both football and track in the National Collegiate Athletic Association Division I-AA All-America and had a bright future ahead of him. On the afternoon of June 29, 1983, Delaney was walking in Chenault Park in Monroe, Louisiana, when he came across a horrifying scene. Three young boys, whom Delaney didn't know, were trapped in the middle of a large pond and struggling violently. The football star, who reportedly couldn't even swim particularly well himself, waded fully clothed into the water to save them. Though one child was able to make it to shore, two of them, along with Delaney himself, drowned. He knew he couldn't swim, but that didn't matter to him. All he thought about was he was going to try to save those kids. Delaney was just 24 years old and left behind a wife and three young children. Four decades on, Delaney's sacrifice is remembered by a memorial in the park where he lost his life and on the Joe Delaney Memorial Highway on Interstate 435. The player is also celebrated annually on Joe Delaney Day in Kansas City. In 2022, several Kansas City agencies, including the YMCA, partnered to form the Joe Delaney Learn to Swim program to sponsor swim lessons for children. A story uncannily similar to that of Joe Delaney's passing is that of his fellow NFL star, Jerry Anderson. Anderson played safety for the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And while he made a name for himself on the field, it was his persistent urge to save the lives of others that led to his tragic and untimely death at 35. In addition to being a local celebrity thanks to his respectable NFL career, Tennessee-born Anderson was a lifesaver. Anderson was present for Tulsa, Oklahoma's Memorial Day floods of 1984, and he put himself on the line to save the lives of two people. In the aftermath, Tulsa World reports that Anderson told his wife that the urge to save people from perilous situations came naturally to him. Anderson lived up to his words once again five years later. While on a fishing trip in his hometown of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, the former football star saw a 12-year-old fall into a river swollen by recent rains, followed shortly by the boy's friend, who tried to pull him back into the boat. The current was strong, but Anderson dived into the river and managed to save both boys. Tragically, he lost his life in the process, leaving behind his wife and two daughters. In 2014, it was announced that Murfreesboro was renaming a street in Anderson's honor. The occasion was marked with a grand ceremony attended by council members, his friends, and his family. Arizona-born Marquise Cooper was a 26-year-old linebacker who had played for six NFL teams over the course of four years, including the Buccaneers and three spells of the Pittsburgh Steelers. In November 2008, he was signed by the Oakland Raiders after a short period as a free agent. In March of the following year, Cooper was aboard a fishing vessel alongside his NFL colleague, Corey Smith a 29-year-old defensive end who had previously played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Detroit Lions. Also on board were college football players Nick Schuyler and Will Blakely, who played for the University of South Florida. The boat, which had gone out to sea from Florida's Clearwater Pass, failed to return at the expected time, triggering a search by the Coast Guard. It was found capsized the following day, with only Schuyler still clinging to the upturned vessel. The bodies of the three missing men were never found. The Associated Press reported that Cooper's wife applied for a presumptive death certificate a week after the Coast Guard announced that they were calling off their search for Cooper and his friends. In 2010, Nick Schuyler published a book, Not Without Hope, chronicling the harrowing two days he spent waiting to be rescued while his friends perished around him. I don't care if you have um, a book, you can't explain cold, you can't explain scary, you can't explain dark, you know, and the things we went through. On Tuesday, June 27, 2023, Ryan Mallett, a celebrated NFL quarterback who played for the New England Patriots, the Houston Texans, and the Baltimore Ravens before beginning a successful coaching career, tragically died at the age of 35. According to Destin Beach Safety, Mallett was pronounced dead after struggling to return to shore while swimming off a beach in Destin, Florida. The news of Mallett's death made headlines and elicited a shocked response from his NFL colleagues as well as the league itself. The league honored Mallett with a statement on the official NFL Instagram, writing, the NFL family is deeply saddened by the passing of Ryan Mallett. Our thoughts are with his family and loved ones. Mallett is survived by his parents and girlfriend, and the impact he left on contemporary football will never be forgotten by those who love the game. I literally almost broke down in tears because I was looking at pictures. Every like touchdown was scored. He's always in the back with his hands up. 
Hubert Pitt Martin had an incredibly prolific hockey career in the 60s and 70s, playing more than 1,100 games as a center in the NHL. Martin racked up a total of 324 goals and 485 assists, resulting in 809 points over the course of nearly two decades. His career included a legendary 10-year stretch for the Chicago Blackhawks. Eventually appointed team captain, Martin led the Blackhawks to the final of the Stanley Cup twice. In his retirement, Martin lived in a house on an island on a lake in his native Quebec. In the winter, the house was accessible by snowmobile, though the ice could be treacherous. Tragically, on November 30th, 2008, Martin went missing when his snowmobile crashed through the ice near his home, and he was submerged underwater. His body was recovered days later. He was 64. Pitt was honored in a statement by Blackhawks general manager Dale Talon, who called him a great man and celebrated his many contributions to professional hockey.